G'day. In the second part of the quadratics course, we're now going to get into the thick of it. Let's study the algebra of quadratics. Now the thing is, this course is really about symmetry. And most people don't present a course in quadratics about symmetry, but that's the theme throughout the entire process. And what I mean by that is, the Greeks, the ancient Greeks, some, you know, 500 BCE, if not before that, realized that squares are just lovely objects. For example, if I gave you a square, I didn't tell you what the side was, I was going to say it's A and A inches, A inches, but I told you the area was 16, you for sure know what A is. A squared is 16 means that A better be 4. The symmetry of the square made that an easy problem. But if I did an unsymmetrical object, an asymmetrical object like a rectangle, and said it's A inches by B inches, and I told you that its area is 16, you have no hope of knowing what A and B are. Maybe it's 4 and 4 again, maybe they have turned out to be a square, maybe it's 2 and 8, maybe it's 1 and 16, maybe it's 3 and 3 quarters and 16 over 3 and 3 quarters. Rectangles without symmetry are hard. But if you always go for symmetry in mathematics, it tends to be really nice, natural and easy and makes things fall into place beautifully. So this second part of the quadratics course is about using symmetry to deal with the algebra of quadratics. Symmetry is our friend, it's the story all the way through, not just for this part of the course, for later on we do graphing as well. Symmetry is our friend, focus on symmetry. All right, let's get cracking.